Hey everyone, welcome back to Snuggle Up and Read. I let Mr. Gladding take the week off and I decided that I would read my favorite Christmas book and I do this every year and I wonder if you can figure out why I would read this book on the same day that I would decorate my beard. Think about that and let me know when you see me at school. Twas the season and Moose was merry. He joyfully tickled the ivories with a tune full of tidings and a flurry of fa-la-las. He was so full of ho-ho-hos, even his moustache had the holiday spirit. But Moose was more than just a bit merry and bright. He was busy, busy, busy. There was a lot to be done on his list of to-dos, but with orderly organization, a bit of regimentation, lots of imagination, and just plain old Moose know-how, Getting ready for the big day should have been simple, easy, yes, in all probability, just perfectly perfect. He wasted not one merry minute. Moose got moving and put some hustle into the holiday bustle. He went to work. He wrote cards and letters till his hooves hurt. Check. He shopped till he dropped. Check. He hauled home boxes and bags and presents galore. Moose had gifts for everyone stacked from ceiling to floor. Check, check, check. Then he rapped, yo, yo, yo. And he ribboned, ho, ho, ho. And on each and every package, he tied a big, beautiful bow. Check and double check. So far, so simple, so easy, so perfectly perfect. Another look at the list and Moose headed for the kitchen. He pulled out pots, pans and bowls, sifted through stacks and racks of cookbooks. He whisked with his left, spooned with his right. Moose baked tons of tins of cookies. Check. Dozens of cakes, breads and sweets. Check, check, check. He made jellies, sticky jams. Moose roasted a goose and some chestnuts. He toasted marshmallows and yams. Check, 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 triple check. Yes, yes, so simple, so easy. And of course, so. Decorations were up next on his list of things to do and get done. So Moose decked the halls, then spruced up the walls. He beaded, bowed, and mistletoed. He gathered garlands, roped wreaths and holly, jingled bells, sang noels. Oh, good golly, this moose was jolly. Check, 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 check. Last but not least, he hung all the stockings, each and every one, with special care. And just in time, too, soon Santa would be there. Check and final check. Yes siree, getting ready for Christmas was an absolute snap and so simple, so easy. And if he did say so himself, Moose thought totally, utterly, completely, perfectly perfect. On that night before Christmas, mother, little sissy, Bucky and Junior looked all through the house. What a job Moose had done. Everything looked Bountiful, festive, quite fine indeed. There was just one minor problem, if you will. Oh dear, sighed the missus, as the five stared at one empty corner. Oh my, oh me, oh gee, pop. What happened, cried Junior. You forgot the tree. Oops. Where would they hang the tinsel, string the popcorn, light the lights? Where would Santa leave his gifts for the kitties on Christmas Eve night? So Moose pulled on his galoshes and put on his hat. He would find a tree somewhere, somehow. And that's all there was to that. So out went the moose, braving blustery blowing winds and cold, trudging through snowdrifts, courageous and bold. 
Moose first hoofed it down to the corner, not a tree to be had. Then he slid around the block. Uh-oh, things were looking bad. He went down every boulevard, street, and little road. He looked down lanes and alleys. Every tree had been sold. There wasn't a branch, not a twig, not even one lousy bolus bow hanging around. Nope, not a nothing, not a tree to be found. No tree, sighed a sad moose as he came home empty-handed that snowy eve. The kids tried to make the best of it. They said, oh, so who needs a tree? But Moose could plainly see they were short on the glee. He knew he had to do something. And that's just what he did. In the empty corner, he stood and spread his arms out very wide. Then he smiled at his children and he winked at his bride. Kids, he declared, fetch your forgetful pop some of that tried and true family glop. So back came the kids carrying a big pot of glue, and without a word to one another, they knew just what to do. They each took a part, grabbing strands, taking hold, then carefully, oh so carefully, they glopped and they plopped, they pasted and they pressed. They curled and twirled every which way a follicle could fathom, until Moose's magnificent moustache was indeed even more of a marvel to see. Moose was just a few needles shy of being an evergreen tree. They strung Moose with lights from his head to his toes and draped him with tinsel beginning right with his nose. They hung balls that were shiny and bells that twinkled, candy canes, berries and plum sugar sprinkled. Then they all stood back. Junior plugged in his pop. Ooh, ah, yes, Moose was truly Yes, Moose was truly was one incredible sight. He was glorious and glowing, and boy, oh boy, he was bright. Jen, then Junior placed the star on top of Moose's head. He gave him a kiss and a pat, and they all headed off to bed. Except Moose, of course. He stayed in the corner instead still twinkling and blinking and waiting for Santa. Oh, so it wasn't so simple and it wasn't so easy and okay, okay, it wasn't so perfectly perfect, but you know what? It was pretty close. Ho, ho, ho. Well, there you have it, kids, mistletoe. What a great story about someone who worked so hard to make sure that he had everything he needed, but he forgot something very important, that Christmas tree. And this is a good story about innovation, boys and girls. So if you have a problem, you need to solve it somehow. And what the dad did here was he put his arms out and he got his kids to help him get all decorated with his wicked moustache, and then he was ready for Santa. So whenever you find yourself in a situation where you have a problem, don't give up. Think about what you can do to make things work, just like the moose did in this story. Hopefully Mr. Gladding will be back next week. Have a Merry Christmas if I don't see you before then. Thanks, everyone.